We did come here with one big goal. We need to put that first. I don't know what we are doing. I just love my goats. <laughs> it's just such a hard decision. Let's not make the last day a day of crying. Hi. Today's episode is probably going to make you very, very sad. And it will take you some time to get over this news. This was a huge decision, but a necessary one. And it has taken me over two weeks to be able to talk about it to you guys without crying. It is so nice to wake up and live your dream day over and over and over again. But when that dream leaves you no time to improve, then it's time to make some changes. This was one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make in my life. We have decided to get rid of our goats. You know, just when you think you have it all figured out. Everything was going amazingly well with all the animals and then Susie started just going off on her own and everyone else would follow her instead of me, so I was spending sometimes up to an hour looking for them. Mm -mm. Why are you crying? Because your mummy's tired. That's okay. Susie, that's as far as you can go. Susie has been being very naughty, so I have been tethering her when I go somewhere. So as soon as I decide to sit down and do something, I tie her up or else she just disappears in two seconds. Peppa and Maggie started misbehaving and going over to the neighbors and eating their vegetables. Yeah. It was just so easy before and now it's just getting harder and harder. And the less time I have to spend with the animals, the more time I'm spending with them and things had to change. We've been talking about it for months now. Yeah. And I finally came to terms with the fact that we have to do this to move forward. It's like we climbed one step on the self-sufficiency ladder, getting milk and cheese, and now we have to take one step down um, because it's not working. And I'm just going to explain to you why we've been stuck for a while now. We bought this beautiful piece of land with a ruin on it, with a lot of land as well. And it has a lot of work. And imagine you bought your house. You've just bought a new place and it's not ready yet. It's just the shell of a house. But instead of putting all your money and your efforts into this house, into building it, you decided, let me buy the furniture first. And that is what we did. I'm sure some of you who are watching have started a new life or moved to a new home. If you do stuff before you're supposed to, then it makes everything else take longer. And Luke and I do have this mentality that you should be enjoying life as you're doing it. But right now, it's really hard to enjoy it because everything I do, I'm doing in a rush. So getting goats was amazing and I do not regret one single second of it. I loved having them. I love my goats. It's, I love my goats and it's, it's really hard to say bye, but it has to be done. And if anyone says, oh, well, you don't have to do it. Well, sometimes, yes, you do. You do have to do stuff that you don't want to do in life, unfortunately. And you have to do things that make you sad. Same like if you're scared to do something, scared to start something new, you should do it anyway. So this is sad, but it's, I, it's all for the best. Say bye to your mommy. Daisy, you're staying here for now, okay? This is your last day tomorrow, Pupa. Turn. Turn out a baby. I crash lentamente. I see. I crash lentamente. Wow. Okay, come on, let's go, guys. Okay. Bye, bye, Daisy. Bye, bye, goats. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, Susie. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, Come on, This way. Okay. Yeah, it's sudden. <sighs> that was easy. I mean, easy but hard, you know. But it was easy just because they came so fast. Come on, guys, let's go home. We'll feed you, okay? Come. I know that Susie and Hacha and Alfie went to a really good farm and they're. I'm pretty sure they're really happy because Susie used to cry from one walk to the next. The second I take her home, she starts crying. So I think she's gonna be happy here because they're out all day with other goats. And I feel like she's, she'll be really happy with a whole group of goats that, you know, don't have much contact with humans.
but Daisy is different. Daisy, Daisy, clever girl. You're a very clever girl, Daisy. And she doesn't realize now what happened because we, Daisy was supposed to leave first and then the other three, that would have been easier. But the guy just showed up this morning and said, oh, okay, I'll take them. And then it was stuck, we were stuck with Daisy here by herself, which is not what I wanted to happen, but it did. Daisy, I know, honey, but your baby left, okay? Everybody left. Oh. Everyone went to a new home. I know. But you're gonna go tomorrow to a new home. And you know who you're gonna see? I'm on the Guinea. Susie's baby. Huh? Today you're an only goat. A lonely goat. Crazy pie. You want some more food? Special food for Daisy. Next time round, next time we get goats, it will be different and it will be better. They won't be taking up as much time as they were taking up now. And in all, in all honesty, I want them with me for walks all the time. I just want to be with them, but I can't. We're not in that stage yet of our life where I can just run around with the animals and play with the animals and film the animals and everything's okay. No, this is the beginning of a really hard time for us where we're going to, we're building our life. So we have to set things up, set up our garden, rebuild our ruin, build the outdoor kitchen. There's a lot of work to be done. And playing with the goats and walking the goats is amazing and that will come again in the future but things have to be done first and that's that has to take priority otherwise we yes you can enjoy your life but you have to try and get somewhere we want we have goals to reach and we're not going to reach them by doing this so yes I actually came to terms with the fact that I have to say goodbye to the goats and I'm doing it and it feels wrong right now um, it feels like uh, what have I done? Um, but I know it's for the best. It's gonna hurt, obviously. Um, but I'm doing this. And no, Ma, don't worry about me because my mother's very worried. Um, I have the other animals to pull me through this hard time and Luke. And uh, yeah, now I can help Luke a little bit more, do more gardening. Of course you're going to miss seeing the goats bouncing around and seeing me with them because I feel like they're a part of me now. Um, but believe me, as much as you miss them, I miss them a hundred million times more than you guys do. All this will come together and you will see me with goats again. Remember the little brown baby goat of Susie? We call him Almond the Guineo. Well, his name is Peanut now. And he lives with this lovely family who's taking daisies. So chances are he will make Daisy pregnant one of these days. And then Daisy will have Meatball's grandson, which is weird, right? Daisy, you're feeling better, Poopa, now that we're out? I can't think without crying, you know. I was good yesterday when I was doing the Monday update for our patrons, but today, for some reason, maybe because I only have one goat left, it's really hit me hard. It's just Molly and me and Daisy for the walk. Peppa and Maggie are punishment because they just came back from the neighbors from destroying his land. And yeah, I just need some peace. I can't be calling Peppa and Maggie all the time because well, my head's gonna explode today because I'm super sad and it has affected my head. <laughs> okay, let's go then. There are many reasons why goats were not a good idea right now. And uh, one of the biggest reasons is that I love having them with me and clearing land, but they are eating a lot of the trees that I'm trying to grow. Sometimes when we go out and I'm clearing land and there's a really nice cork tree or a really nice olive tree growing, baby one, and we've just uncovered it and then two seconds later it's gone because they've eaten it. It's like two years of the tree working hard to grow and the goats have eaten it in like five seconds and the thing is I can't control that. I have a poo spray with me which I do when I do spray on them when I don't want them to kill a tree but a lot of the time 
I'm there too late and they've already done damage to it. So yeah, there's little thing there's a lot of little things that used to annoy me having goats because we are not set up yet. It's not because of them. It's mismanagement really. You know I'm so sad and I can barely talk when I mention Daisy. It's because she is such a lovely goat. She she loves cuddles and she loves being pampered and she's very clever. She can open the gate. She can uh, she answers to her name. She can turn. She's a very clever goat and she is very different from all the other goats that we have. So I'm I'm just upset that when we next get goats we're never going to get another Daisy. And that's the thing that that Makes me the most sad. Daisy, clever girl, Daisy will always come. Daisy, come. <laughs> come, Daisy. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, come. Come, come on, come on. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> come, me doesn't mind. Susie doesn't mind. Come, Daisy. Daisy. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. I won't wear the glove, okay, when I want to touch you. I will take it off. She hates the glove. Okay, Daisy, do your thing. <laughs> yes, Daisy! <laughs> Not yet, Daisy. Not yet. When I tell you. Come. That's okay, you can open. Yes, Daisy! Come open, clever girl. There you go to your new family, Daisy. There you go to your new family. You want to get milk? And you're going to do your hooves. Mm. So you go to your new family with nice hooves. Mm. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. No machine today. Daisy, just mummy, okay? Because it's your last day. Okay, princess. I hope you won't miss me, Daisy. I will miss you. You know, I will miss you like crazy. So what? I'm sad. I'm very sad. It's good to be sad sometimes. It means you care about things. And, well, you love them and you're going to miss them, of course. But I'm also not scared to move on to the next chapter. Because sometimes it's really hard to take that next step decision because it's really hard. I could keep them and we could move, not move forward for another two, three years. But this has to happen. This is an important part of our life. We're still young. While we still can manage to do things, it's important we do the hard work. And then the goats can come later when I'm, you know, after we've done the ruin and we can go on nice walks together. And I can chase them around after they run away. <coughs> Not for now, for now you eat from the ground. <laughs> so what are we going to give them? We're going to give them some treats for Daisy. These are daisies to make the ride better eh? so you don't miss mommy. You want, you want one now? Yeah. Okay, you're hungry. And then you have, this is your cream for when you get mastitis. Okay. And then we have Daisy, look. Then we have acorns for Daisy, because she loves acorns. <laughs> Don't put the 
What else do we have for Daisy? One more acorn. Okay. And we have we have this Daisy. This you're gonna take with you. Okay. Uh, this Daisy, your big sword cube. You don't take it with you. You don't need it anymore. This is for your van ride. For when you're in the van, not for now. Her milk is very similar to cow's milk, huh? Yes. That's exactly. what it's, that's what we drink. It's, yeah. it's we used to beautiful. take Susie's for the it's cheese. It's delicious. She just likes a lot of yeah. brushing. Yeah. Oh, anyway. I was getting oh, brushed. Yeah, One four girls all together um, that we can so rotate normally, them, yeah. Yeah. and we could yeah, we have them, the, you know, rest gasoline, between. Yeah. Yes, yes. So they're not all for you at least. Are you gonna miss mommy? I hope not. You're just gonna have a lot of fun. When when they came to pick up Susie yesterday, she just jumped into his van. Like, Careful okay, see you. <laughs> no, buy, no nothing. Daisy. Daisy is looking at your van and thinking, I want to get in there. Yeah, yes, yeah, Susie went yesterday. She's she's very good, as in with food, she doesn't snatch like the like Susie used to oh snatch. Oh my gosh, you will be very slim then because Sylvie is eating everything. Ah, so maybe she'll learn how to snatch. Oh, yeah. But this is her birthday. She was born in February 2021. She got pregnant on the 11th yeah, of August, gave birth on that day. Oh, and then thank vaccinations, you. she did one May. When she did the blood test, she has done two blood tests in her life. Uh -huh. And then they were end of May 2022 and end of May 2023. Slowly, Molly. Hey, not around me. <laughs> you are, eh? You're keeping him sane when he was going insane. <laughs> hey. So yeah, it's been a pretty tough, tough summer, really. Um, when I came back from the holiday with my parents, I was limping. I didn't fall. I didn't slip. I didn't do anything. I'm thinking it might have been the couple of thousand kilometers I drove around the country, showing them around. Uh, I knew, I did consult uh, my doctor, Dr. Webb. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Webb, yeah. Webb MD. <laughs> um, but I had, I had torn my ligaments years ago playing football. So I knew what the feeling was, right, was like, and I knew I hadn't torn my ligaments. So I figured I had sprained, I had sprained my, I sprained my ACL basically. So I stayed off my feet. I did the rice thing, which is... Rest. Ice. Ice, compression, compression elevation. and elevation. I spent three weeks doing absolutely nothing, going a bit mental, um, because normally in summer it's too hot to work anyway, so I was kind of used to that, even though I, I normally struggle in summer when I can't work because I get frustrated. Um, but this year we had a relatively cool one, eh? Yeah, it was When I came back really nice. from my parents, it was like 28, 30 degrees. And I came back thinking, yay, let's get start work on the outdoor kitchen. And I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't walk. We're getting better now. Um, after three weeks, I thought I was going to be okay. It was, seemed to be getting better. Then I woke up the next day when it coincidentally had cooled down another time. And I thought I was going to be working. And I was worse. I couldn't even walk. So Sarah made me go to the doctor. <laughs> I did. Um, yeah, and I've got my CT scan tomorrow. It is a bit better, and but tomorrow I'll find out exactly That's what it right. is. And because he was like out of Action. order, um, it made me even busier. So while I was busy and going crazy and stressing, he was bored and lonely. It which was is really frustrating. Two very weird, conflicting. Yeah. To be living in the same situation in the same house and one being so busy and one being so bored. It's just, yeah, yeah. it was crazy to, to go through it, no. Um, but yeah, it made me question, am I going to be fit enough to do what we want to do on our land, you know? So, I mean, 
there's so much work to be done here and I mean the main one being the ruin and then the land itself or the ponds we want, we want to create and all the fencing and everything and even in the future with all the animals we want to have you know if we're yeah. not if only one of us is physically fit to do it no. it's a big problem so yeah we just really want to number one completely heal so then I can crack on and next year by the beginning of next year we want to start the ruin so we get that done yeah and i didn't say why we kept the the pigs and not the goats okay but the goats are easy uh, the goats are very um high maintenance animals if you've had goats you know this yeah. but the pigs aren't they're low maintenance and we actually need them for what we plan for the land yeah maybe some of you don't know the reason we did get the pigs was to try out glaying which is sealing ponds so you find the place, you get it ready, you fence it, put them in there and with their poop and their stomping about, it seals it. So we haven't tried that yet and that's one thing we're going to get onto now. We're thinking of fencing down by the pond, which is already there, it's got a water source. So yeah. and we'll put the pigs there and hopefully get a mail soon from our friend Cindy so we can have more piggies and concentrate on the pigs. It does seem a bit like a step backwards especially on the self-sufficiency front you know where we're not going to have milk we're not going to have cheese yogurt ice cream and it was awesome having all that yeah and it was awesome learning about all that and now we know exactly how we want to have our goat house in the future because we'll get goats again when we move to the ruin and we have a proper barn down that side so now we know how we want it exactly you know everything you know, exactly how you want yeah, it yeah i know exactly how i want and it and the milking part and everything but everything takes time i mean even just washing the dishes after milking and after making the cheese every single day it all adds up and i mean the biggest thing was not having fencing to take them there during the day and then yeah. bring them back at night and so i used to have to take them out twice a day two three hours each walk you know i mean that's that's your day gone pretty much yeah. you know but even if we had sussed out the fencing which we we did try i bought another fence energizer because the first one wasn't working with the fence that we bought and then we set it up around the chicken coop because we had fox attacks set up the electric fence around it and they just went right through it I mean they we saw them touch it and they didn't even affect them so we no. thought it's not going to do anything with the goats and also with the fire danger I'm just so paranoid with these electric fences all it takes is a branch to hit it and you can create a fire I yeah. mean they're yep. not illegal but it's still I, I I just I'm just so paranoid I don't want to have an electric fence down no. a kilometre away with the goats even if they try and get through and get all tumbled in it or yeah. it's just too much of a risk I didn't like this idea of the electric fence in the first place but we wanted to give it a try but when I was trying to set it up you can see the goats getting stuck in it and had had they got stuck in it when the electricity is going they're moving around they can't get out anyway I imagine the worst but we yeah. didn't want to so yeah, go there. next in the future, proper fenced terraces where we can take them and use them to clear whatever's coming up, you know what I mean? Like yeah. silver pasturing and stuff. Huge decision. It's obviously um, tougher on Sarah, yeah. you know. Like I said before, it's take, it took me a long time to get over it, but um, now that I can talk about it and now that I can actually look around, wake up in the morning and not have to do all those things, I feel a sigh of relief. Yeah, you're you know? catching up now. No, like right? now I'm catching, catching up on up. sleep because that was the most deprived sleep I've been, had in in a long time. After a while, it gets to you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stay up all night, uh, a couple of weeks, you know, and you do it to finish editing a video, but it catches up with you yeah. in the end. Eh? And when I was younger, I could do it no problem. But I'm <laughs> 45 now, you know, almost. So, yeah. And we came here to have a easy, simple, and like relaxed life and for the last couple of months it's just been stressful and insane so yeah, yeah. this yeah, is we just, the end of the goat chapter for now yeah. but yeah we'll have them again we had said in, in previous videos i had said you know it's like we know that the animals are putting us back on our progress to 
work on the land and the ruin obviously but we prefer to be happy but uh, at the end the last few months it hasn't been happy no, you know, no. it's been hard it's yeah. been really really hard yeah. and i've been i was questioning everything if i were going to stay here health wise you know uh, yeah if, if, if you can't do the job because of your health it's it's a huge problem yeah. so hopefully my knee will get better i'll crack on with the outdoor kitchen so we can get woofers because we, we had woofers, uh, volunteers or woofers here before, but it's nicer to have a, a separate kitchen, you know. Yeah. So it's a bit more organised. And, and we've been dying to get that kitchen up, so... <laughs> One thing that did help me keep slightly sane was this beauty. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen any ads, but they've been all over the place, the ads, so you might have seen it. This is from the guys at Bug Assault and kills flies. open here, fill it with table salt, it's too windy in the wind. for that. No, it's still got some. Uh, in my eyes though. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Close that. Awesome. I really took out my frustration on the flies. So thanks guys at Bug Assault for sending us this. It really does work well. So check out the link in the description below if you want to get one. This is the only assault rifle he will ever have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not all doom and gloom. No. We are going to start the ruin by the end, the beginning of next year, end of this one. Well, I'm going to finish the outdoor kitchen and then I'm on it. Yeah, because we were seeing this as Luke, this is how Luke normally thinks about things. When it's too much of a big thing, he looks at the small things and he does them step by step. But we weren't doing that for the ruin. We were just thinking we need a whole heap of sum of money till we even get started, but we don't. The small, the, the big, we have a big ruin, but the small bit that has really good walls, we can start on it as soon as we finish the outdoor kitchen yeah. and take it one little step at a time. So that is the plan. Thank you to everyone who stuck by us right from the beginning and also for having patience till we could start doing our vlogs again because it has been a hot summer. I have been busy, like I said, Luke has been out of order and we decided to do the year one to four which i think went really well i love doing them going down memory lane we got some really nice, nice messages comments. from you guys if we didn't have those we wouldn't have produced any videos just because maybe just a video of me whining and complaining. <laughs> no one wants to see that <laughs> so before i go i would like to thank a few people because we haven't done it for a while mm -hmm. thank you for a huge anonymous super thanks to whoever you are thank this, you whoever you are it made a huge difference in our monthly um, wage <laughs> and then also thank you a huge thank you to Christine, Marcos, Kathy and Dirk, Liz and Vicky and also to our new patrons who joined just to join the community. Yeah patron now you can join as without paying and we don't post as often no. as for paying patrons but you can join them every now and then you yeah. put something on every now and then i put something that i don't want to share with the the, the whole, whole world. world you know because some some of you do ask like uh we watch you and we would like to know all these little things that go on in your life but you only share them with the patrons but there's some things that we only want to share with a small group of people we get the messages like oh but we can't afford to support your patron well now you can join the community for free and just yeah we'll let you know little things that go on in our lives <laughs> do have to thank our patrons for all the nice messages when we did tell them that we're getting rid of the goats about three or four weeks ago yes because um, you... yeah it made a tough time a little bit easier yeah, you guys were very supportive so yeah. thank you very much thank you very much for joining our patreon family eva danny and claire thank you guys, Thanks, guys. very much for watching much have appreciated awesome we'll see you in our next video take it easy bye i'm gonna limp off home <laughs> <laughs> Yay, meatball! Good boy, meatball. Come on on the rock. Come on, Daisy, on. Yay, clever.
Mmm, yummy. One for Daisy and one for Molly. Stop this. Boop! <laughs> Meet one. I'm joking, cow. Boop! <laughs> Shelly silly boom. Meatball is a meatball baby. Meatball is a meatball baby. Eh? Is that what you wanted to tell them? What else? Tell me. <laughs> Go oh, Molly, move. He's going to fall on you, Molly. I'll show you. That's Susie. That's Susie. Meatball, look. Meatball.